Thousands of flights are being canceled because of extreme cold. Here's what to do if it impacts you. Do not get on the plane. <laughs> Workers de-ice the Southwest Airlines aircraft at Midway today. No, this is January 22nd. Who am I kidding? More than 2,000 flights have been canceled across the U.S., 4,000 flights according to other sources, and up to 8,000 flights according to a third source, as historically frigid weather is hidden from Google News and is not even in the headlines. Nearly 2,000 of these canceled 6,000 flights were scheduled to arrive and depart from Chicago. And that's tonight's third boom. <laughs> In case you assume that everything is moving smoothly, extreme cold, why your house is popping, and how to prevent your windows from cracking. And this is not in the headline at all. The bitter, unusual cold can make your home do strange things. Just after 9 a.m. on Wednesday, temperatures plummeted to 11 degrees below zero, tying the 1966 record low for the date. Yet, the Google headlines do not show any news on record cold or record breaking anything. Here's what you need to know. Why is your house popping? Because global warming. Yeah, that's why. Cracked windows, global warming. When temperatures go to 30 below, it's because the world is warming. According to the mainstream. <laughs> The Arctic Midwest, day two, four all-time records, topple. You can walk right across the river. That's why they're running icebreakers up and down so that people can't film this. It's not for your safety. It's for the disinformation campaign being paid for by the elites. They're paying icebreakers to move up and down the river, quote unquote, for safety vehicles, so that they break up the ice so that it's unsafe for you to walk on. Above, you see photographers before the unsafe ice was created at sunrise Thursday, January 31st, taking pictures of record colds, historic record, all-time record colds ever recorded in human history. At least four all-time cold temperature records were tied or beaten in the Arctic-like Midwest Thursday morning. Minus 38 Fahrenheit in Mount Carroll is one of them. Take a look at those pictures. Minus 33 in Moline shattered the all-time record of minus 28. Minus 31 in Rockford shattered the record of minus 27. Minus 30 in Cedar Rapids beat the record of minus 29. Minus 43 in Mather, Wisconsin. Breaking records back to 1951. Look at these wind chills. All the people that said they were in Minnesota and they remember the minus 40s. T tell me about the minus 60s. Do you remember that? All you Minnesotans that moved to Florida that believe in global warming. Do you remember that? Minus 64? Do you remember that? The coldest temperature in the U.S. from this week's cold wave came early Thursday in Cotton, Minnesota with a record high low of minus 56. few degrees short of the all-time record ever recorded of minus 60. Look at this bunny. That's a big bunny. What happened to our boom? Let's get that back. Whew. I swear to God. I swear to you. That bunny is not making it happen. Layer upon layer of global warming goodness. Boom! Apparently, USA Today is watching our channel. Frostquakes reported in Chicago area thanks to the polar vortex. 
Wind chills have dipped as low as 47 degrees below zero in Chi-Town. Schools, museums, courts, <coughs> and other facilities across Illinois are closed. Extreme cold causes bizarre things to happen, including people to believe that this is caused by global warming. And that was certainly the case Wednesday in Chi-Town when a series of loud booms were reported. Boom! Heads up. The temperature in Chi-Town was 23 below zero when the below zero boom quakes occurred. Chicago residents heard were likely frost quakes, also known by the dull geologic term cryosisms. That sounds dirty. They occur when the rapid drop in temperature leads to a quick freeze, which causes the rock or soil to burst rather than slowly expand. According to meteorologist Keith Hedorn, the rapid bursting sound sounds like a noisy quake along with the possible shaking. Some people think their homes are being broken into or gunshots are being fired because they live in Detroit where that normally happens. Frost quakes, however, are too small to be picked up by seismographs, but are loud as sh and freak people the fuck out. And that's a boom. Yeah, shy town boom. You're not getting shot. You're getting defrauded. Global warming did this to you, and it's your fault, you prick. Pay up. Do it now. We'll show you how. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Open snow forecast for Thursday and Friday. Looks like British Columbia is the winner. But here's your weekend forecast. It's looking deep in my area. And those heavy snows in the Sierra Crest are going to make the news. We're talking floods, record snow, ending the drought, and tilting the map. And then your February 4th through your 8th, <laughs> another snow picking up in the, uh, another storm picking up in the Midwest, more snow burying the West. Record season, laying out for at least a dozen states west of the divide. Here are my totals. I'm, I live on the 14. Yes. And that's just my Saturday through my Thursday. Most of the northern ski resorts are going to miss out. It's the lower areas and the plains that are going to pick up the heavy totals, which are schmodels. South San Juans are going to look like the Alps. And we're going to have heavy avalanche warnings and other crazy sh going on here. Let's check the models. They look crazy. Blizzard moving through Ontario is only the least of what should scare you, yo. So, let's just walk it through. Here's your Friday into Saturday, heavy snow moving into the Sierras, making for an epic powder weekend through your Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday will be the biggest snow event in Sierra history this, this winter. It's going to be a dumper and a pumper. And now, Take a look what happens next weekend for you folks in the south. Another storm moving through. Could be some heavy totals on the Mason Dixon here looking like 14, 16 inches in places. These models will change and hopefully we're not showing 29 in my area. Which is fine. Because we've been shoveling for months. You know the picture. One of the biggest snow years where I live. Weather Ready Nation map. Arctic air lingers in the northeast through Friday. Two storm systems to impact the west coast through the weekend. The life-threatening Arctic air that gripped much of the central and eastern states the last several days will exit in the northeast Friday in the west. The first of two large storms will move over the coast. Winter storm watches and warnings throughout Montana, eastern Washington, and look at the winter storm warnings here through the Ohio Valley. 
wind chills throughout your Michigan to Maine. Northern PA, you're all in there. Like swimwear, freezing your arse off. <coughs> Heavy rain, strong winds, and mountain snow will impact much of California through the weekend with flooding possible near burn scars. And then you'll be buried in the global warming goodness. Now, NOAA and NASA predicted an extremely warm February. Let's look at the updated models. There they are. Here's day 8 to 14 in February. Below average in 80%, 80, no, I'm sorry, 90% of the U.S. Below average, 90%. 25% of the U.S., 80% below average. That's section B. You lose. If you move to section B because Al Gore said global warming in 2007, sell your home now because it's not worth shit. Amen. And it's looking like we could get blizzard conditions in the southeast second week of February. I'm not saying anything out loud right now, but I'm predicting a blizzard for the second week of February in the southeast. But I'm not saying anything. Heads up. Look at Texas. They're going to be crying. Texas is below normal all the way into Mexico. Heads up, Tucson. 29 children and babies reportedly die while families seek safety during the Syrian's winter. This doesn't have to do anything <laughs> with uh, global warming. Because these people have never experienced these temperatures. And now at least 29 newborns and children have reportedly died over the past two months while heading to a Syrian refugee camp, according to the World, World Health Organization, which has nothing to do with your health, by the way. <laughs> at all. We're going to get to some interesting science. Seismic update. No quakes of note. Thankfully, there's no lithospheric warning. Space weather says otherwise. Should be quiet. Worldwide volcano news update. Fuego, Chivalus, Reventador, Sakorijima, Planchon, Petaroa, Nevado State, Chilan, Sabancaya, and more. Intermittent pulses at Nevado de Chilan. Intermittent admissions at Sabancaya. Shivalush going boom, boom. Prancho Petaroa, 15,000 feet today. Explosive activity continues and we're fluxed. Reventador, volcanic ash advisory. Fuego, volcanic ash advisory. Popo, on and on. Let's check it live. Let's see what Edna's doing. Boom! Oh my. Holy macaroni. Cosmic rays at KP0 for 48 of the last 72 hours. Making volcanic powers and volcanic ass showers. Look at the seismicity picking up here. Are you picking up what we're putting down? Sakurajima hasn't stopped erupting for five in years. So that's not new. But this is a cacophony of fireworks predicted by Oppenheimer Ranch Project one year ago at Etna and Stromboli. I'm getting hungry. Whew. Come check it out. It's live and it's seismically active. Cyclically, and look at that. Boom, boom, boom. And let's go. Boom, boom, boom. So we got some good blowing up here at Etna. As the sun rises in Italy, the folks going to work are like, holy macaroni. I'm feeling like stromboli. I don't even know if they eat that there. Thank you, whoever we were just looking at. American colonization cooled the earth. This is a complete fraud. <clears throat> Read this article. It's so fraudulent, I don't even want to talk about it. But it's all your fault. Pay your taxes. 
Carbon dioxide is killing you, and it's your fault. We're all burning up. And we're going to die because plant food, well, a federal judge skewers PG&E in California over the wildfires. Global warming is not starting these fires, you pricks. Man, that guy deserves a Nobel Peace Prize. Take it right from Al Gore's mantle. Shut up, Al. Get your hole. You prick. Frostbite. Shut up. The federal judge reprimanded PG&E, California's largest utility, for its role in starting deadly wildfires across California the past two years. District Judge William Alsup, who should get the Nobel Peace Prize, opened the Wednesday court hearing by comparing PG&E to a drug dealer who violates his probation by allowing its equipment to ignite massive fires, which they did, facing more than $30 billion in wire fire related liabilities. If they bail these pricks out, I say you should light California on fire. Like a funeral pyre. So we'll be following this closely. As the elites will win, as usual. No one will go to jail. And the government will bail them out. Like the bitches they are. Now, fortunately, bitches get stitches in jail. Top scientist resigns. Global warming is a trillion dollar scam. Corrupting many scientists. How about all of them? All of them with a paycheck connected to a corporation or a funding mechanism. Hello? <coughs> My, it's like... Hi! Wake up! Following is a letter to the American Physical Society released to the public by Professor Emeritus of Physics, Harold Hal Lewis of the University of California at Santa Barbara. Now, Hal Lewis from UC was once the fe a fellow there. And he is embarrassed by his participation in the fraud. There he is. For reasons that will soon become clear, my former pride as being an AS APS fellow all these years has been turned into shame. Quotes Al. Sorry, Hal. <laughs> Harold. <laughs> And I am forced with no pleasure at all to offer my resignation from this society. <laughs> it is, of course, the global warming scam with the literally trillions of dollars driving it that has corrupted so many scientists and has carried APS before it like a rogue wave. It is the greatest and most successful pseudoscientific fraud I have seen in my long life as a physicist. Boom! Thank you, Harold Lewis. Thank you, Harold. Let's talk about facts. Counties with dirtier air have more stroke deaths. Yeah, this is actual pollution we're talking about. Coming from the American Stroke Association news release poster WMP57 Sessions MP5 just yesterday or the day before that. Counties with higher levels of actual pollution have more stroke deaths and shorter life expectancies than other citizenry. About half U.S. counties have annual air pollution levels that exceed guidelines, none of which include CO2 from the Environmental Protection Agency. In a nationwide study, no one concluded CO2 harms anyone, but pollution actually does. Holy shit. Uh, that's amazing. Is that, that makes sense. Amidst global warming hysteria, NASA scientists expect global cooling. 
those promoting CO2 as the reason global warming are hucksters. And those taken in by hucksters are 80% of the population. Now, according to this huckster, the world will end in 12 years. Now, she may be right, <laughs> to be quite honest. The empire will fall. But it certainly won't be warm. Notice the gloves she has on. <laughs> that must be a global warming glove. We all see a cooling trend, says Martin Malax of NASA's Langley Research Center. High above Earth's surface, near the edge of space, our atmosphere is losing heat energy. As the magnetosphere wanes and the poles flip, and if current trends continue, it could soon set a space-age record for cold, according to NASA. Now, this new data is coming from NASA's sounding of the atmosphere using broadband emission radiometry, or SABER, which is on board the space agency's thermosphere, ionosphere, mesosphere, energetics, and dynamics satellite called TIMED. Saber monitors infrared radiation from carbon dioxide and nitric oxide, two substances that the powers that be know play a vital role in energy output of our thermosphere and have nothing at all to do with global warming. And it's not your fault. It's not you. It's not CO2. It's the sun. Now, the thermosphere always cools during solar minimum, but we're heading into the largest grand solar minimum in 400 years. And one of the most important ways the solar cycle affects our planet is the magnetosphere wanes. And it's going to wane in a big way as we head to the magnetic reversal in the next two decades. Rare fossils of Triassic reptiles, which were tropical, discovered in Antarctica. <laughs> Look at these faceless weirdos. Looks like they chopped their faces off and they're bleeding. It's an artist depiction of what Antarctica looked like. Looks amazing. It's like, it's amazing. It's hot there. It's global warming. Earth's magnetic field is acting up and geologists don't know why. <coughs> Fraud! Nature. Nature has been denatured. Now, all geologists know exactly why Earth's magnetic field is acting up because it's flipping. All of them. If you don't know, then you didn't even go to college and you're not a geologist. Every single geologist. If you line all of them up forever on the Earth and you just ask each one, why is Earth's magnetic field acting up? They're going to say, oh, it's flipping. Okay, next. Why is Earth's geomagnetic field flip, uh, acting up? Oh, it's flipping. Next. This is a fraud perpetrated at the highest level by the people funding this research. The erratic motion of the North Magnetic Pole has been known since 1907 when it quickly made a turn and started migrating. And ever since then, it's been accelerating exponentially. In the last 20 years, hundreds of geologists have studied it and concluded that it's accelerating. Decades ago, NASA even knew it and set up the SWARM mission to monitor the geomagnetic poles of Earth. And today, nature.com puts this article out that Earth's magnetic field is acting up and we don't know why. That's a blatant lie. You know what else is a blatant lie? The release of the World Magnetic Model has been postponed to January 30th, which was two days ago. It's still not out. Still not out. Non-existent. Not a peep. Just like no headlines of record, historic, cold in the United States. Breaking records back to before records were kept. 1880s.
U.S. government update, Earth's magnetic pole shifting faster than previously thought. On Wednesday, the U.S. government is due to release the report showing that the geomagnetic North Pole is shifting far more quickly than previously thought. The only problem is they haven't released it. And no one is re reporting on that. No one's reporting on record cold and no one's reporting on the fact that the U.S. government that promised a release of a report is not releasing it. No one! No one is reporting on it. Or commenting on it. Now, on January 30th, the World Magnetic Model Governing Modern Navigation System is due to undergo an, uh, a scheduled update. There's no update on their site. The update is given in obtuse spreadsheets of numbers. And they said that the real data won't be updated until February 4th, blah, blah, blah. Donald Trump. And here's the narrative. The magnetic pole is the result of ferrous fluids moving around the Earth's core. Which is completely a fairy tale. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for all your info. We're really updated, well informed. Those ships up in the Arctic are navigating well. Well, what the hell? Some amazing information I'm about to share with you as we close up the video tonight. <coughs> You're looking at the EMAG2 data. This is the geomagnetic information of the surface of the Earth. It's totally trippy. But what I want to draw your attention to is these multiple lines here. And let's come over here. Here's another mid-ocean. Here's multiple lines. Let's go to the uh, Mid-Ocean Ridge in the Atlantic. Bear with us. Look at all these strips up out here. These are all geomagnetic reversals. All the strips, all these stripes, geomagnetic reversals. Very periodic and episodic. Look at these stripes. Every 12,000 900 years, a geomagnetic reversal. Yet geologists claim otherwise. They claim the last geomagnetic reversal was 780,000 years ago, from here to here, and that those stripes mean nothing. Yet they have the balls to give us this data, just spinning around before your very eyes. This is the culprit. This video animation is the culprit of all our slowing it sucked up so much of my ram that you get to see my buddha there it is we're back <laughs> so hopefully things will work out and we're just going to do a dab as we erase the emag data Bye bye, Emag Two. It's crazy. It's only getting worse. It's, it's February first. We're gonna break out all the new equipment. We're setting up the new studio. You can see my peril here as the blue circle spins.
Not responding. 30 minutes in. It's like dead air, dead air, dead air. 